Good morning. My name is Dr. Brina McTaggart. I am delivering live from IT Sligo on this beautiful sunny day in the west of Ireland. I'm going to talk to you this morning about some programs we have in the Department of Social Sciences, and I'll give you a short PowerPoint presentation. At the end of this, you will also have my details. And anybody who here who is here live with us, there's an opportunity at the end if you would like to ask me any questions. There's a little chat box at the end. So for those who are joining us, I can see a few people in the bottom corner. If you want to type your um, questions into Q and A at the at the very bottom, you'll have a little icon called Q and A, and you can type them in. And I'll come back to them at the end if there's any questions at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is share my screen with you, and hopefully we can start this morning session. So colleagues, so hopefully you can see this now from us. So as I said, I'm welcome this morning to IT Sligo. And that's the first thing you see if you don't know IT Sligo, it's the first thing you see when you enter the building. And it's a beautiful, beautiful campus. It's bright, it's colorful, it's airy, and it's quite large. And I am the head of Department of Social Sciences. So for, when you come to the IT, if you haven't been before, and we appreciate it's a slightly different open day as we are in COVID, you go in the main concourse and we're over in block C and G. So who we are in the Department of Social Sciences. So the Institute itself has 10,000 students and they're um, undergrad, postgrad, master's, doctorate students. And they're in engineering and science. They're in uh, business and social sciences, which I belong to. And they're in science where my colleagues work. And in, in each one of those departments, there's a large student cohort. So for social sciences, I have one of the largest student cohorts in the Institute, particularly in undergraduate students. And we deliver a variety of different programs. So, you know, while you may start your journey at one program you may end up in here with us for quite a number of years and we'll be delighted to have you so we do a certificate in introductory counseling skills part-time we do a certificate in social prescribing we do a ba honors in english and psychology in sociology and politics in law and business we do early childhood care and education which you're here to speak about this morning we do social care practice and we're the only and we're the first core approved course in the country which we're terribly proud of we then also do uh, several master's awards. So we have master's in social work. We have a postgrad in teaching and learning for higher education. We have a postgrad in leadership and advocacy for the early years. So many of our students who had completed their early years qualification goes up, come back several years later and they do this postgrad award. We have one in social care and social justice, again, for graduates in social care who may go on, want, wish to go on for further study. We have one in leadership, a professional master's in leadership. We have um, professional masters in post-primary teaching, which we're currently under development. We have stage one of our process complete and we're about to start stage two. And we have working on a conversion course in psychology. So quite a lot of awards in the department. And within that, there's over 110, um, 110 taught postgrads, and then maybe 30 or 40 students who are doing masters by research or doctor because it changes each year. So those who are joining us this morning who may be interested in early childhood. So what is early childhood? Well, early childhood is one of these careers that is probably relatively new in terms of professional status. It is 30 years or more in, in the making, and we have been running it for over 16 years in IT Sligo. And it's the idea behind a qualification specifically in early years at degree level is that you will have the skills, knowledge and competencies to work as a professional in this field. So early years is a fundamental, those first six years of a child's life really are fundamental to its future outcomes, opportunities, successes. And there's a huge amount of studies done on this um, about, you know, the the opportunities or the barriers that children encounter in those, those very early years and its impact and how you as a professional, more importantly, can support children with all sorts of abilities and capabilities and lifestyles and cultural backgrounds, how you can, as the professional, support the best outcomes for our children, because that's what it's all about. Within a program such as early childhood care and education, the things that you would study is very very specific to that age group. So you do look at early years learning and care. So the way we, we teach children 
for want of a better word, for those early years. So how would you, you know, explain things to a, a small child? How would you explain them to a um, toddler? How would you explain them? How would you do that in a way that they would understand and is enjoyable and is a good learning experience? How do you care appropriately for children? How do you do it in a safe manner? What, what do we mean when we talk about care? So you do all of those different things. So you learn things around all that broad ideas and concept, and you may have covered some of it in second level in some of your subjects. Because children don't exist in a vacuum, and none of us do, we look at things from a psychological perspective. We look about how ch children develop from a psychological perspective, so socially, emotionally, cognitively, you know, their language development. We look at all of those things. But then we also look at the social policy. What is the government doing? How is it funded? How does that impact delivery of education and care to the not the six-year-olds? What documents are relevant? What is the first five documents about? Because they are the blueprints and the roadmaps that determine how these sectors function. No more than in your schools or in your workplaces where you have all these policies and procedures, you, you need to understand them in order to work with them for an effective outcome. The same with this in our in our early years uh, environment, we need to be aware of where social policy fits. We also do an awful lot of work on creative methods for the early years to how to work effectively. So a smaller child in a preschool would learn best through the medium of play. And play can help you with teaching you science, technology, engineering, maths, arts. It can teach you all of those things through that medium. But you wouldn't put a smaller child in a particular, you wouldn't put them sitting in a chair to learn. You learn them through play. And that is what we do in creative methods. And you also develop the skills yourself that you can bring into your future learning experiences. You do law because obviously early years is very mandated by law and the Children's Act, the preschool regulations, the constitution of the rights of the child, all of those things will be covered by our experts in law and they will tell you how you apply them. Sociology, the same idea. Sociology speaks to the structures of your families and your communities and why things are the way they are and how people perform in them. So you do all of those things. And each one of those years, each one of the years of your study, which is four years full time study, you build on it. So these kind of themes of law and sociology and child development and early life build on each year. So as you come towards the end of your studies, you're fully informed. You get it in incremental bits so you actually can understand and you build on your previous knowledge because we understand that to be the best way to teach at higher education. You have two placements. These are professional practice placements. They're based on your learning needs. So we place you in your year two placement because you do it in the second semester of year two. We place you in a early years direct working with children because while we might like uh, you know, the idea of working with children, you actually have to get first hand experience of what it is like to be in a room with very small children and how you actually you yourself can manage that and how you thrive in that environment. So you'll go into placement and you'll do a placement in year three as well. So year one is study, year two is study for the first term, placement for the second, year three is study for the first time, placement for the second and year four, you're in this back in for your studies, which you finish with the research project of your choice in terms of what kind of ideas you'd like to explore a little bit more deeply. You'll have covered something on placement, you're particularly interested in that and you might wish to do that. So where do you work afterwards? The careers in early childhood are quite extensive because it covers the not to six year olds from all aspects of their lives. So it, can, it will be working in early years, which is obviously more regulated now than it was before. So you'll be in preschool rooms and you'll be preschool leaders. Um, you may also decide I want to work in county childcare committees. You might want to work in Tusla. Um, you may wish to work in community family support. You may choose to work in, in, in additional needs and additional services. The choices are quite uh, quite vast and many, and our graduates do get jobs. What, what we find is they go often go into straight into direct working with children for a period of time, and then they go on to other areas and they specialize in it. But it depends where you want to be, and your placements help guide you. Some of our students do go on to postgraduate study straight away or after a little bit, bit of time. Some do go into uh, postgrads and primary school teaching. Um, Ireland obviously has a requirement for Irish for primary school teaching, so you have to be cognizant of that. Some have gone into speech and language therapy, therapy in the past. You, if you're going to go down the route of postgrad study, you really decide that yourself because there's opportunities there. You may go into research, policy, equality. It just depends what you really, really want to do. 
And you also, might also do a uh, postgrad in psychology. We have students go on postgrads in psychology, disability, childhood studies, play therapy. Or you may go on, as some of our graduates have done in the past, to come back and do pure research and do masters by doctorate, masters or doctorate by research. So you have plenty of options there for your future career. Thousands of graduates from IT Sligo are working all over the country and many far overseas, you know, in Australia, in Canada, in, in quite a number of places all over the world. Um, and they do very, very well for themselves. So it is a degree, if you've got an interest in the not to six year olds, certainly it's something that I would advocate because there's plenty of opportunities and plenty of interesting learning on your journey. I'm going to move to social care. So early childhood and social care were the first degrees in the Department of Social Sciences many, many years ago, and about over 35 years ago. And they are structured very similar in terms of the are four years. And that four year piece is about how much learning and the fact that you have placements in it. So you have to get quite a lot of things in um, in order for you to be a competent professional because you must remember both these programs are now preparing you for professional practice so they're slightly different than other programs that haven't got a, a designated career at the end of it so i am a nurse by profession so i did a nursing degree and obviously i've shifted into education in more recent years so you're you're an early childhood professional, you'll work in early childhood, social care professional, you'll work in social care. So they're very clear on their focus of where you need to be both degrees and their four years to allow for that clarity for us. So for those who are interested in social care, um, you have you, you're very fortunate to be on a programme that's career approved. And if you, it's very similar to any other regulated profession that there's a regulatory body now, which is really, really valuable to you because they that the graduating graduating opportunities from a been on a regulated program obviously is great so you get more opportunities for better you know better opportunities to apply, um, apply for jobs more career progression opportunities there is um you know a recognition of the fabulous work that you do so it's really really important that this regulation is now in for social care um we went for a validation in 2019 and we were successful and we, we got word just before the shutdown. So we're thrilled for students because they can now, when they, when they qualify and the register opens, they can say they've got a qualification from IT Sligo and they can register for Kuru. So that's brilliant. So it's a four year honours degree. It's got placement in year two and year three also. And what will you study? You will study, you will focus on social care. When we talk about social care, we're talking about, you know, working with those who have complex needs in their lives at particular points in time or throughout their lives. So you work with vulnerable people in society and you support them in order to uh, better outcomes for themselves. You know, it, it could be for a short period of time you're supporting them in their life. It could be for a longer period of time. It is very, very diverse. So you may work with young people, you may work with older people, you may work in the disability sector, you may work in early intervention, you may work in a variety of different settings and, and ideas. There's videos on our web page from, from students who've done these programmes and they give you some sort of idea of what the programmes are like. But the idea behind social care in particular is that you can support people in who need it at a point in time and you're doing it primarily in community ses settings, which is different than what I would myself would have done would have been in acute care. Yours is in the community, in residential cares, in community intervention centres, etc. So you will be working in those type of environments. What kind of things you'll study? There is a line throughout your program called social care professional studies, and that has to be there in order to give you the skills to be um, able to work as a social care professional. So you'll learn how to be a professional, you'll learn how to skills and competencies, you'll learn um, about standards of proficiency, which you'll become very familiar with by the end of the program. And these are all these core skills. And then you also need the knowledge that goes with it. So you'll get a theoretical foundation in what all those things mean. And therefore, you will build on it as you go through. But again, there'll be a thread through it all. So you lose social care for professionals. You'll do psychology for social care. So you'll do it in year one, year two, year three, and you may pick it again in year four as an elective. Social policy, again, the same as early childhood. You can't exist in a world. People don't exist in the world without understanding what goes on around it, particularly in social policy and particularly around government funding, because a lot of these services are obviously funded by government, the HSE or the community and voluntary sector. 
And we're very, very dependent on, on the political environment to make sure that these funds keep coming through. So you can imagine during a crisis such as the one we're having, you're out on the front line, you're, you're working with and supporting others, but you're also cognizant that, you know, it is a difficult time for the country and how that may impact on your service delivery moving forward. And hopefully it won't impact at all. So you're always cognizant that as a professional, you'll always be thinking not just about the, the, the role that you're in and the person, you'll always be thinking about other things that may impact how you deliver your support or your care to the other. Um, you do creative practice and facilitation, particularly around for the social care professional role, because we found it and research would indicate it, that those type of methods working with people work really, really well, if that makes sense, in terms of you found a mechanism, a medium that allows people to express themselves in an appropriate way, or that can facilitate conversations between people in a safe and secure way. There is obviously quite a lot, a lot of law that also underpins social care, whether it be the Health and Social Care Act itself, or the legislation on rights, or the legislation on the constitution. But you have people again who will explain all of this to support your learning on it, but also they will apply it to professional practice. Sociology, the same, it applies to practice. And while you may hear sociology in early childhood and sociolo sociology and social care, they're different focuses because they're different professional groups. So we, we ensure that. Professional placements, you have two placements. You have it in year two. Um, after Christmas until um, the summertime, you do a block placement of 400 hours and we we support you in, in your placement. We have it's based on learning need again. It is not based on anything but learning need because that's the requirement on, in a professional training program. And we select the placements, we make sure the placements are the quality that we need them, we match the students to the placement. And in year three, what we, what we encourage you to do is maybe select a sector that you might wish to work in. And we'll do our best to use our, what we call our bank of placements and match you to them. And that bank will, you know, may, may mean you want to go to a particular type of service, like to go to residential, or might want to go to, you know, Tusla, and we'll do our best. Now, our services are for both early childhood and social care, they're absolutely amazing. They take you each year, they give you fabulous learning experience, and we're very, very grateful for that. Um, but you can appreciate on any given year, it can be quite a challenge for them to take students, but we've always been very fortunate to have such wonderful support from our sector. You could two placements and then in year four, you come back again, do your research project and get ready for your graduation. And again, careers, there is plenty of careers and because social care is a broad based profession that actually allows you to work with so many service user groups or community groups or NGOs, non-government organizations, you have plenty of opportunities. Now that could, you know, in some ways is, is unfortunate, but our society needs all these mechanisms in place, but for job opportunities, it does give you plenty of job opportunities. And if you're ever looking either early childhood or social care, what kind of jobs will I get? There's a, any website will tell you, but if you look on a Saturday morning on active links, you can see all the jobs that come in for your profession, where you can see the, where um, opportunities may exist when you finish your studies in a couple of years time. Um, you may decide to work in residential care, people in detention, people with intellectual disabilities or physical disabilities, homeless services, alcohol dependency, families in community, older people. But you'll get a sense, you'll know where you fit as you go through your learning. And we'll keep telling you, challenge yourself, think about it from another's perspective, think about where you might wish to go. Some of our students, um, most of our students go straight into employment because that opportunity exists for them, but some do decide to do post-grad studies. Some go into research, master's by research, they do with IT Sligo or elsewhere. Some go into social care and social justice. Some are masters, we have a master's in that. Some go into professional leadership. Some do a career diversification, which is into social work. So social care and social work are very um, complementary professions, but they're not the same. So if you wish to do become and diversify into social work, you would have to do another for qualification. And um, we're very fortunate to have a CORA approved award in IT Sligo. And some choose to go into doctoral studies. For students of that, of that award, they get the opportunities, plenty of opportunities. We, we have graduates all over the world working all sorts of roles. Like in Canada, it's not quite the same as social care, but they have a very strong youth and youth justice system. So we go, graduates, we know are still there because they keep in contact with us. There's some in, in obviously Australia and some, but most of our graduates, you know, are still in Ireland and working away and we, we have links in with them and, and they're, 
they're often the people that you'll go and place them with who are now well established in the career because we've been doing this for so long. So for both programs, if you're interested in, in working with in the not the sixes and you're interested in early learning and care and what that means and supporting children that formative years of their life, then that's something for you. In social care, if you're interested in, in another group who are groups of people who may have points in time in their life where they may need support or you want to work on social policy or something like that, then social care is for you. If there are four years that do require a lot of commitment, both of them, they're very, very enjoyable programs. Students do very, very well in it. Uh, but you need your, for yourself, you, you, you make your decision about where your best fit along that and where you'd like to go afterwards. So I'm going to not to come off the sharing of the screen now in case there's any questions anybody has. And please do ask any questions at all. I'd love to hear them. Just one more thing, if there's anybody wishes to contact me. So each program has a program director, a program chair. They're on another forum this morning answering many questions coming in from potential students. So if you send them to me on that email address, mctaggart.breda at itsligo.ie, um, I will pass them on to my colleagues. So Dr. Karen White is the program director of Early Childhood Care and Education and for social care is Dr. Magellan McKean. So we will pass them on to both, both of my colleagues and they'll be able to follow up with you if, I, if there's any questions or queries that come in. So thank you for taking the time to join me and I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. So there's two, um, there's one question in, does social care include as childhood care. You will cover the not basically from the zero right through the lifespan, but if it's a particular interest in early years that you have, then early childhood care and education would be a more appropriate program. Uh, uh, so it would. So it 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 will cover it, but not to the same extent because they're two different disciplines. So they are. Anybody, any other questions at all? any queries the points one thing i didn't mention was the points for both programs each year the points tend to be between it's usually in around 300 points they be the fluctuate every year as you both as you all would know depending on many people apply because it is obviously done on supply and demand um, and they would be in or around they might go down to 280 290 but they're usually around 300 and above every year the last last 10 years that i've been here that's that's what they have been. Um, and the semesters for start in September, September go to Christmas, and then you have a break at Christmas, and then you start again at the end of January. In terms of the COVID year that we're currently in, we have had to go to remote delivery this year to, to ensure the safety of all our students and our team members. We've had very little on campus and it's been fine. We've been able to work with that and that's absolutely fine. Next year, we're not quite sure what we do. We'd love you all on campus, but your safety is a paramount concern. So we will be delivering it, but whether we will be delivering the online face-to-face, -face, we're waiting for the health guidance on that. You know, we're hopeful that we might get some on campus in the next academic year, but the decision hasn't been made nationally. But but don't let that prohibit you applying because you know it is a pandemic we're all getting through this together it's important that you go on with your dreams and your aspirations don't be worrying about that at all just make your decision uh, that best suits you is there any questions um, that anybody wishes to type in into the either the question um, in the question box or in the chat box either uh, any of them at all All very quiet here this morning. I know if we're on the concourse, you'd probably have more questions, but please, if you've got any queries at all, drop me an email or my colleagues are on the virtual open day answering questions through what we call Pubble, where you, you know you type it in and then you can get an answer straight away. So if you don't wish to ask here, please log on and I'm going back on there now in a moment and we'll be able to answer any questions that you have. Thank you. Yeah, they, they're, um, I'm gonna answer the first question. Somebody says, is it going to be recorded? <laughs> it is, 
recorded um so hopefully it'll be clear enough for you yeah it is recorded and if there's any questions that you wish to ask use my email address and i'll try and follow up with you um what form of the week of study uh, is it? Yeah, we're five days. That's a really good question. Thanks, Lloyd. It's a five day a week full time program. And while it's it's different than, than school in terms that um, in school, you know, you'd be going from class to class, to class. There will be breaks in your learning period during the day in order for you to go and do additional reading or additional um you know, work group work with your colleagues because you will be doing that because part of your professional future, part of professional working in any profession is working together. So you do group work to allow you to develop those skills and obviously it'll support you with your assignments as well to learn from your peers. But so you you're meant to be available Monday to Friday, nine to nine to six. You won't always be in class at that time, but you will be doing a lot of other stuff because they're busy programs. Yes, yeah, so they are. I hope that answers your question, Lloyd. Um, as a social work, where are we required to work? Social work is like, thanks, like, um, it's slightly, it is a different profession. And if you, I, I can, if anybody is thinking about social work as a career after social care, if they drop me an email, there is a director of social work, Dr. Leanne Sweeney is one of the team, but Brenda Feeney is the director and she will answer any questions, but they're very, very different, very, very different. The work collaboratively together, but a social work may often be involved in the referral system. They'll be doing in different types of intervention than the social care person will be. Um, and if they are different. Uh, you can become a social work by doing a degree in it. There's only a few places in the country do it, but it, it is a tough profession, social work, because often you may be working in, you know, the likes of TUSFA or child protection, that can be a challenge but their role is distinct from social care. So social care is support at the front line. It's the direct work with the service users. Social work do that as well, but they do it in a different way because their remit is different. Any other questions? Uh, so early childhood and education, early childhood care and education has fluctuated between 280 and 310 the last 10 years. So it's very difficult to say at this stage what it will be. We do know there's a good bit of interest in it this year again, and we're delighted with that. It is a privilege. And just to say, thank you for that question. Um, it's also the class sizes in early childhood would be about maybe 50 in social care. There'd be about 60. There'd be a small number of classes that you actually be together for, but for the most part, you're with your group. But the Department of Social Sciences, they're a group and they're a team and the students across the arts and the social care and early childhood interact and get to know each other. Um, I'm going to answer in not to six. So I'm going to, I'm going between two screens. So just bear with me. What ages would you be, would you be working with if you did the early childhood course? Not to sixes is where you, your focus would be. When you qualify, you may be working with families who have children who are not to six. So you will cover how to work effectively with families in the program as well, but the actual children will be primarily not to six. I hope that answers your question. Um, I think what qualities do you think important to have as a social care worker? I might answer that more broadly. Anybody who wishes to work with people, who wishes to, um, you know, even my own role as a nurse previously and in the education particularly as well, but for let's say you early child in social care, you need to be a good communicator. You need to be open to the other's perspective. You need to have empathy, not that is really important that you understand what empathy is and that you have empathy. You need to have practically good time management skills, so you do, because your work is quite busy and you need to organize your day around a particular way. But you need to be open. I think the one thing I would say is be open because it is different. Um, we find what we find, which is, a, is great, is when students in both programs the theory, they get the theory and, you know, they're wondering how this applies to practice. They go in placement then and they can clearly see how it applies to practice. But open to new ideas, willing to try things out, um, good time management for your studies, uh, empathy for the profession and good communication. But you may not, you know, don't be expecting to be a great communicator when you start. What we need to be is you're a great commun communicator when you finish. Um, so I think that's fine. 
both programs are four years full time study full time because they've got two professional practice placements in them. So they would have that level of commitment to them. So four years full time. But remember, the academic year is different than a normal year. It starts in September. It ends in December. And then you re rejoin again in January and you finish again. Our, our students are, have got their last few weeks of teaching now. So they'll be finished. Now they'll be doing assessments some of the times outside that. But overall, it's not the same as a full year. So it's not. And um, just another question, uh, what would be the main difference in social care and early childhood? It, the early learning and early childhood care and education has both a care and education focus, um, and they tend to be focused on that, and they only focus on not six. That's their remit, that's what their expertise is involved in. Social care is um, not onwards, but it's, it is it is not got you know, the education of the other focus, it has got the support. That's this role, social care practice, professional practice in the social care field. So they are different. One has a more education and learning focus and one has, uh, and they've both got different age focuses on them. Have you any other questions at all for me? I'm hoping, I hope I've answered them appropriately for you. So if there's nothing, I, if there's something I've been unclear with, please type it back in for me. They're both wonderful careers. They're both valuable, wonderful, um, very, very ambitious careers for those who who are who are working in them. They do great things in them. They make they make a difference, and they are a, a really important point. Is they are our frontline workers, the ones that we don't necessarily hear as much about, but we would not have been able to manage this crisis as well as we had if we hadn't a good early childhood care and education sector and a good social care sector that were able to respond as they needed during this pandemic. Um, just trying to see, is there anything else? Um, social work, social care for, um, if I, in within IT Sligo, I'd say if you want to work with young people, it would be social care. Yeah. And Aidan has asked the question, bo both programs, social care is four years full time, early childhood is four years full time. I don't think there's anything else coming in. Any last minute questions, colleague, or colleagues, that anybody wishes to ask me? And I wish I was meeting you in person. Unfortunately, I'm not yet. Okay. Um, just going to run through everything again, just to make sure I have missed nobody's question. And hopefully I haven't. That's okay. I've got them. Okay, I've got them all there. So thank you very, very much for joining me. Um, I hope to see some of you in the real world when we come out of the pandemic. I thank you for taking the time. It was an early slot this morning that I took um, and thank you for taking the time for joining us. So we do welcome you to IT Sligo. It is a great place to be. It's a great place to live. If you're not from the region, anybody who's from it will know it. We are on the west coast of Ireland. Beautiful place, lovely quality of life. So we'd like to welcome you here and you'll do very well in, in, our, in our institute and our soon to be university. Thank you so much. And I will log off, but as I said, please feel free to follow up at any stage at all. My best wishes to everybody. Bye-bye.